You know, it's, it's been minimal um, impact in terms of us. Like, we haven't, you know, I think we had one strike called the first inning of the first game. And then other than that, we haven't had a violation, at least on the offensive side. So it hasn't had any impact from there. I think we did address this before the game yesterday. I felt like it had sped our guys up a little bit in the box. And, and we have to be in control of ourselves with their routine and their readiness to hit every pitch. So we kind of worked on that between Saturday and Sunday of not really letting it get us moving so fast that it was to the detriment of our approach. And I thought we looked under control. Um, offensively, it does put a damper in some things you want to do. It's it's hard to get a play in sometimes, and um, everybody's kind of struggling with that probably. Yeah. You benefited from a call against Kansas State. I mean, you were up by four runs, and I think I even saw some LSU fans like, oh, man, that's hokey that they you know call a guy out to end the game without even throwing a pitch. Yeah, I didn't even see the clock. And, I mean, <laughs> when they just said strike three, I shook – Mark and Wes and Josh's hand and said, great, it's one less pitch for Ty Floyd. Like, that's how I thought about it. <laughs> I mean, if it was us on the other end of that, my response would probably be a lot different. <laughs> one more follow-up on the clock thing. I heard uh, Mikey and Jared Mitchell were talking about it, and they, they think it puts a lot of pressure on the umpire. To, yeah, to do a lot. you know, yeah. <laughs> I, for me, the strike zone is the most important thing in the game. And that can't be compromised. I think that's the one thing I'm watching the closest is are they so worried about all these external things that they lose their ability to call balls and strikes, which is their most important responsibility in the game. And um, I think it would probably be a better question for some of them. I haven't gone like, hey, strike zones have been horrible at all. I actually think they've been very good through seven games. But that would be my one concern.